Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode 40 of the Houston Astros franchise here on MLB The Show 20. It is the final episode of the regular season, so if you're hyped about this one, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below for more franchise content, whether it be NFL or MLB. Just leave a subscribe to bring you more. Now on the mound for the Yankees is a familiar face for the Astros, Garrett Cole, who left to sign the record nine-year $324 million. He will efface, uh, oppose us excuse me, here in New York. Now starting off for the Astros is Jose Altuve. He's been leading off for us recently. First pitch of the game is a ball slider inside. Yankees sit at 104 and 51. Very next pitch, Altuve is going to get in front of a slider, chop it to the shortstop Torres, who throws it on to first to record the first out. So let's take a look at these Astros today. It's the familiar lineup you're used to seeing. As their back is against the wall, hitters are starting to get hot late in the season. But is it a little too little, too late? We'll have to wait and see the rest of this episode. Michael Brantley up next, full count to Brantley, and he's going to take a fastball and poach it the other way in left. It's going to get down, and it's going to get over the short wall, and that's a ground rule double for Brantley. Full count also to Alvarez. He's going to chop it to the second base and record the out. But now Brantley is on third for Alex Bregman. 2-2 two -two to him. He can't catch up to the 99 heat, and he will sit down. On the mound for the Astros is Lance McCullers Jr. Had a very rocky season so far, 11-13 with a 3.65 ERA making his 32nd start of the year. Whip at 145, a little high. So leading off for the Yankees, Greg Allen. He's in 226 on the season, 2-1 count. Allen, he's ripping one to right field, but Puig has enough space to record the first out. As we'll take a look at the Yankees lineup. Saw Greg Allen, here comes third baseman Gio Urshela, followed by DJ LeMayhew, the very powerful Stanton in left. Labor Torres, shortstop, and then Miguel Andujar at the DH. Aaron Judge batting all the way down on the seventh spot, followed by Gary Sanchez and Luke Voigt. It's a very interesting lineup combination for the Yankees. Here's Gio Urshel lining this one to deep left field. Brantley's there to make the grab for the second out. DJ LeMayhew, first pitch. He's swinging and popping up into foul territory. And Lance McCullers gets through the first inning pretty scotch-free. Let's go bottom three now. Luke Boyd up at the dish. He's got 77 RBIs on the season. That's a career high for him. 3-1 to Voigt. And McCullers is going to throw one down in the zone, but Voigt doesn't care. He's going to rip it against the shift and get on with the lead off single. So back to the top of the order. Greg Allen is actually going to throw a sacrifice. Looks like the Astros are ready for it. They do get Voigt at second, but Greg Allen not at first. Gio Urshela is up next. He's ripping this one into the gap in right field up against the wall. Puig's in her corral. It's only a single, but runner is now on third base for DJ LeMahieu. 0-1 to LeMahieu up the middle. Hit off of McCullers. Guriel went to the bag to cover. Just an awkward play, and it results in a Yankees run. Stand up next. First pitch swinging as well. Putting it into right field. Gets down in front of Puig. Runners held up to see if he caught it. So now... Bases loaded, one out for Torres, and we got a 4-6-3 double play, and the Astros get out of it, only allowing one run. Very next inning, bottom four, and Duhar leading off for us. He's going to bloop this one into shallow right field. It's going to get down, and Puig actually dives for that one. Oh, he missed badly, and he is on Duhar's getting on his horse all the way to third base. That is a lead-off triple. Can't make those mistakes against the Yankees. On Duhar's fourth of the season. Next batter is Judge. 1-1. One, one. He's going to ground this one to the shortstop, Correa, who records the outs. But it does bring home that Yankees run. So they now lead 2 to nothing. Gary Sanchez up at the dish. He's going to draw the walk. Knuckle curve falling out of the zone. And that's going to bring up Luke Voigt. Nine hitter. It's in the dirt, actually. So that's going to allow Gary Sanchez to get to second base. So the double play is no longer in order. Full count to Voigt. He's going to draw the walk, so that puts him on first base. Back-to-back -back walks, however. And we go to the top of the lineup. Greg Allen, 0-1 to him. He chops it to Altuve. He's going to try to turn two, only gets one. He gets Voigt at second. So now runners on the corners, two outs for Gio Urshela. Lines this one. Correa makes the play. Good defensive play by Correa. And it's still only a 2-0 game. Do the Astros have any sort of answer? George Springer is going to lead us off in the top of the fifth. 
Still haven't been able to really get to Cole today. He gets a hold of this slider, however, but just a little bit underneath it is Springer, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Carlos Correa is up next, 1-2 to Correa, and he's way late on the 98-mile-an-hour fastball. Cole's just daring these hitters to hit that one. Yuli's up next, 0-1 oh, to him, two outs. He's going to get a hold of a fastball. It's going to get down his center, so finally a base hit for these Astros. As they have a runner on first with two outs. Yasiel Puig up next. First pitch swing this Puig. He gets a high curveball. It's deep to left. He has to look up Stanton. It's gone. Home run Yasiel Puig. A two-run blast. His sixth of the season. And with one swing of the bat, all that work the Yankees have done to take a 2-0 lead has been erased. Puig, 386-foot shot, ties it up at 2 and Garrett Stubbs is up next. Inning still not over. 0-1 to him. He gets a fastball down. He actually golfs it and puts it into right center. Allen has trouble with it, but Stubbs is not going to move up. So still not out of this inning is Cole. Altuve is up next, but he's swinging at a horrible pitch in the dirt. And he's going to record the out of first. So tied up at two, however, as we go bottom five. DJ LeMahieu leading us off. He's one for two today with a single that brought home an RBI. 1-2 for McCullers. He's tied up inside. Good pitch by McCullers to give LeMahieu swinging. And that's McCullers' third strikeout of the day. John Carlos Stanton up next full or 3-0 count to him, and he's going to draw the walk. Doesn't want anything to do with Stanton. But that's going to bring up Glaber Torres. 1-2 to him, and he lines it into center field. Gets over the head of Correa. Outfielders were playing pretty deep, so that holds Torres to first, but Stanton's now at third. Runners on the corners. One outs for Andujar. He pops it up into center. Springer's going to get this one. They're going to test him. They're sending Stanton home. Springer's throw is offline, and that'll bring home a run for the Yankees. It's now 3-2. to two. Aaron Judge up next. First pitch swinging a right at Bregman, which will record the out, but the Yankees get another run. Top six now. Astros still trying to keep pace. Brantley, he's going to ground straight into the shift. That's going to be an easy first out. Alvarez is up next, 0-2 to Alvarez, and he's fanned on the high heater, 96 mile an hour, eighth strikeout of the day for Garrett Cole. So now 2-0-2 outs to Bregman. He gets a hold of a curveball, but pulls it right to Stanton in left field. So the Astros unable to get anything in this inning. Brad Peacock's going to come to the mound. McCullough's day is over, our most reliable middle reliever. He's got a 3.87 ERA now on the year. Bottom six with Gary Sanchez leading off. Full count to him. He's going to bloop this one into the outfield. Good piece of hitting by Sanchez. That gets another lead off batter for the Yankees. Luke Voigt, 2 2, down on the slider. Can't catch up to it as Peacock fans him in the bottom of six. Top of the lineup, Greg Allen, 1 2 to him. He puts it to Altuve. Nice diving play by Altuve to only get one, however, as there's two outs and a runner on second. And that's. Got an injury, actually. Gary Sanchez, who's running to second base, I guess he broke his finger, maybe sliding into the back or something. So Chris Iannetta is going to come off the bench, and he's going to pinch run for Sanchez. Gio Urcella at the dish, 1-0. It's going to go into right field in front of Puig. Gets down. They're not going to test the arm of Puig with Iannetta. But now we have runners on the corners with two outs for LeMahieu, and it gets through the middle of the infield. That's another run for the Yankees. It's 4-2 to two now. They just continue putting up breadsticks. John Carlos Stan, he's fanned as well. So, yeah, they'll put up another one-run inning. As we go a little later into this game, bottom eight now. Alex Reyes is going to come up to, out of the pin. Interesting call. He's got a 6-17 ERA, 339 averaging his righties. Inez is going to lead us off. And he's going to drill this one to deep left center. That ball is going to get all the way up against the wall before it's corralled by Brantley. And Ionetta is going to have a very easy lead off double. It's now Luke Voigt up next. He's first pitch swing. It's going in the gap between first and second. So a back-to-back -back base hits now. Has runners on the corner with no outs for Allen. He's going to get past the infield. Infield was playing in to preserve the run. It costs him there as a run is brought home and we still have no outs in the inning. Gio Urshela up next. 0-2 to him. It's hit to Guriel who can't turn two. Just knocks it down. That's not going to be an error but it costs us an out. Now, DJ LeMay, he's going to ground it to Bregman. He can't get his glove down on that one, so that's going to bring home a run. Actually, might bring home two runs. Yes, it will. 7-2 Yankees. That's another out that won't that we could have had. So now one out runner on first. 
That's going to do it for Reyes. His day is done. His ERA is continuing to inflate. And Austin Pruitt will come in to try to stop this rally. 3-2 to Stanton. He's going to line this one deep into right center. That one's no doubt. That one's a hit. As that one gets up against the wall. Runners, for some reason, held. I guess they thought that might be caught. So we have runners on first and second. One out for Torres. And that gets by the glove of Bregman once again. He needs to get his glove down on these ones. That costs us another run. 8-2 to two Yankees now. as They've busted this one wide open in the bottom of the eighth. I'm Duhar up next. They're not done. This one's to deep right field over Puig's head. It's going to rattle up against the wall. Runner's going to come around home. Throw is not going to be in time. We have a 9-2 ball game and two runners in scoring position and still only one out. Aaron Judge up next. Bloop into right field. Puig will get a hold of this one. They're going to try to test the arm of Puig this time. Throw is not on line. It's 10-2 Yankees. Chris Iannetta up next. 2-1 to him. He grounds a Correa. All he's got to do is throw it to first. And the inning is finally over. It's 10-2 Yankees after that one. And we're just going to call it here. This game is a blowout now. Final score, 10-2 Yankees. A horrific eighth inning. Cost the Astros in this one. Probably would have lost anyway, but it would have made it look a lot more prettier. As the win is going to go to Garrett Cole. He pitched a shutout eight innings. Well, not shutout eight innings, but a lockdown eight innings. McCullers will get the loss. Cole actually does get player of the game. Eight innings, only five hits, nine strikeouts. So the Astros have a four-game series against New York. You would have liked to see him at least win the first one in the Bronx. And we drop the second one even worse, 12-0 to zero this time. So we get absolutely annihilated by this Yankees roster. Two home runs for Torres. Verlander was the culprit as well as Armenteros in this one. We do win game three, however. We kind of put the Yankees in their place. Eight to two. We had 14 hits this time, including a home run by Alvarez and a bunch of people contributing. Miles Straw had two RBIs of his own, and it was Jose Urquidy with a dominant seven-inning performance. Game four, however, we lose five to four. Yankees walk it off in the ninth inning. I think it was Wade who might know. It was the guy after Wade who had the walk-off in the ninth, so... We lose three of four to the Yankees in the Bronx. Now, what you like to see, and that puts us three out of the wild card with a magic number of one. So we need to win every game, and we need the Rays to lose every game. But they are playing the Yankees, so it is possible they could lose every game. So we have to win and sweep the Atlanta Braves in Atlanta if we want to have any sort of chance. As it's going to be Mike Soroka versus Zach Grinke here. The final series of the season. It's an MLB Network game here at Truist Park. As we'll take a look at the pitching matchups for both sides. The, or the Braves, excuse me, are going to throw out Mike Soroka. 9-12 on the year. The 23-year-old Canadian who's already made an all-star appearance. He's got a 409 ERA, but he's got a pretty bright future. Astros are wearing their blues. They've only seen this twice this year so far. 321 ERA for Zach Grinke. You know, due to make 34 mil next season, his future will be very interesting this offseason. Braves will be led off by Alberto Montesi, who came over in the Royals trade that shipped Danby Swanson over to the Royals. We will be followed by Marquecas, Freeman, Acuna, Junior, Osuna, Ozzy Albies, Flowers, Camargo, and then we are in the National League. So the pitcher will bat. That means we're going to bench Puig and Alvarez will play left. Brantley will shift over to right. So Altuve is going to start us off for the Astros in this one. He's swinging silly out of slider. That's a tongue twister that I said pretty solidly. But that'll be the first out of the first. Brantley up next. 1-1 one, one to him. He's going to dribble this one through the infield. He gets another base hit in the first inning. Gets down and grab that sinker. So now Alvarez will be up next. 2-1 to Alvarez. Sinker 3-6-3. Three, three, just what the sinker is designed to do. It has nothing in the first for the Astros. Here comes Alberto Montesi in 248 on the year. Decreased a little bit ever since coming over in the Royals trade. But still a cornerstone piece for this Brave squad who has underperformed this year. And Alberto Montesi goes down on the changeup. So one out. That's going to bring up Marcakis. And he's going to just ground this one up the middle. But Altuve has it. Makes a jumping play. Is able to get Marcakis at first. So a solid two outs for the Astros. Here comes Freeman. He's going to draw the five-pitch walk. Don't want anything with Freeman, especially with the bases empty. That does bring out Ronald Acuna Jr., and he's also going to walk this time on four pitches. So Zach Greinke putting himself in a little bit of trouble. Ozuna up next, though. He can't 
grab that slider, and Grinky will strike out two in the first. Let's go top two. Bregman leading us off. Full count to Bregman. He gets a sinker he could do something with, but it's just way behind it. Springer up next. 0-1 to Springer. Slider reaches out and grabs it. That bloops just inside the chalk. And Springer's going to try to turn this one to two, and he gets there safely as Ozuna can't throw him out. So now runner on second, one out for Correa. He draws a walk on an inside slider, but that makes the double play in order. Guriel, though, 2-0 to him, and he does just that. 6-4-3 double play, and Astros get nothing once more. Bottom of the fourth, Freeman leading us off. He's going to dribble this one right in front of Stubbs, who goes out and grabs it, and that'll be the first out of the bottom of the fourth. Brings up Acuna Jr., the sensation. Full count to him, but he cannot grab that curveball. What a curveball by Grinky for the second out of the inning. Marcel Ozuna, 0-2 to him. He's swinging at a pitch in the dirt, and Grinky is through four innings without giving up a single hit. Let's go bottom five. Ozzy Albies will lead us off, and he will go against the shift. That'll be the first hit of the day for the Braves. So there will be no hitter here at Truist Park. As he is happy about that one. Next up is Tyler Flowers. He is striking out as well. Grinky is on his game today. Johan Camargo. He's going to pop this one up into shallow left. Correa goes out and grabs it. So nice piece of hustle in there by Correa. As that'll be the second out of the fifth. Mike Soroka up next. He's just going to dribble this one to Correa. And he will put him out at first base. So we're scoreless through five here at Truist Park. Let's go top six. Here's Grinky leading us off, and he's going to draw the walk. So, big mistake by Soroka to walk the pitcher. That'll take us to the top of the order. Altuve, he's going to ground it to the pitcher, though. But Soroka throws him off the bag. Mondesi can't stay on, and he can't get that out of first either. So, big mistake by Soroka. That was first and second with no outs. Brantley gets a piece of the slider. It's deep to right field, and it's over the wall and right. A three-run shot breaks this one a zero breaks the zero zero tie and that's the 16th home run of the season for Brantley and man does that air come back to bite the Braves in the butt instead of a one nothing game it's a three nothing game and it's still no outs with Alvarez coming up and the manager for the Braves has had enough he's gonna pull Soroka who had a pretty solid day up until that point and here comes a little bit of a surprise Cole Hamels the veteran from Philadelphia still kicking it in the majors might be his last appearance, but he's going to try to close him out in the sixth inning. Alvarez, he's going to draw the walk, so Hamels, a little bit of struggle. He is older, however. Bregman's up next, 2-2 to Bregman. He's going to ground it. This time, they do complete the double play, 6-4-3, as Bregman's starting to swing a cold bat. So two outs, four Springer. He gets first pitch swing out on a fastball. It's into shallow right center, but Acuna gets on his horse and records the final out of the six. Let's go bottom eight, which means Ryan Presley is going to come in to try and hold this one down for Ozuna in the ninth. First batter cannot catch up to that fastball. That was actually Austin Riley pinch inning. So now we go back up to Alberto Montesi. He's lining this one in the gap, though, between center and right, and that one's going to get down. And Alberto Montesi, he's a fast player. He's going to turn this one into a triple with relative ease sliding into third base, as that will be his fourth triple of the season. So now Braves with a chance to crack open a run. They're going to do just that. Marquez is going to ground it to shorts, which will allow Mondesi to come home. So the Braves are finally on the scoreboard. As it's now 3-1, two outs for Freeman. And he's going to beat the shift. He's going to ground this one down the third baseline. It's going to roll all the way up against the fence. So Freeman's going to round first, get all the way to second. And now the tying run is at the plate. And it is Acuna Jr., so you got to be careful here. He blasts this one to center field, but just underneath it. That one almost gave me a heart attack. And the Astros get out with a two-run lead. So now it's time for Roberto Osuna to try to come in and get his 40-second save of the season. Starting off with Marcel Osuna, and he's going to ground this one to Osuna. He's going to record the first out of the ninth. Ozzy Albies up next, 2-2 to him. A beautiful slur starting outside the zone, comes into the zone. What a pitch by Osuna. And then Flowers, he can't catch up to the slur as well. And Osuna just completely shuts the Braves down. Astros win this one 3 to 1. Grinky with a dominant performance through seven innings. Allowed for the eighth and ninth to be taken care of by the bullpen. But the Astros, they get the first win, so they take care of their business. Now you got to hope that the Rays can get swept by the Yankees. And we can sweep the Braves. So we're not in the playoffs yet. We still got a lot that has to happen. 
Play of the game is Zach Greinke, eight strikeouts in seven innings, only four hits, or three hits given up, as we actually only had four hits ourselves. He actually only gave up one hit. I don't know why that was a typo. For the Rays, they do beat the Yankees. They actually shut out the Yankees, only giving up two hits, which means we have officially been eliminated from the playoffs, so our season is over after the next two games. Maybe we can get 90 wins and make ourselves feel a little better about ourselves. We do drop the next one though, one to nothing. Only have three hits in this one, as eight hits were combined. As Ozuna had the RBI triple for the Braves, was their only run. Then in game three, we do even worse. We had two hits in this one. We get shut out once more, two to nothing. So across this series, we had nine hits in total. Not how you want to go out, so Astros struggling, limp into the finish line, and that'll end our season. A little bit interesting, though, around the league, Diamondbacks will lose this one to the Rockies 1-0, and the Cubs beat the Cardinals here 8-3, which means in the National League, there will be a game 163, which I'll have to do in the playoff episode. That'll be next week, but we might highlight that 163, but... We have no more scheduled games because we have been eliminated, so that'll end Season 1 of gameplay. Later this week, we'll wrap up Year 1. We'll wrap up, see what the players did, look at stats and whatnot before taking a look at the playoffs next week. So expect the live stream offseason to be sometime next week. That'll do me do it for me here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.